Occasionally, when we see a new set of golf clubs released, it gets us a little bit more excited than usual. Fair to say today is certainly one of those days. Introducing the brand new Ping Blueprint S irons. These things look absolutely gorgeous. They are jam packed full of technology to help your golf game, but also help the enjoyment of your golf game. And we also have the small matter of the Ping Blueprint T irons that we're gonna test in a separate video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see that. But today, let's talk about the clubs that could well be in a lot of people's bags in 2024. And with all the talk this year surrounding the new driver releases, I actually think that these could well be some of the best clubs that are gonna to come to the market. These excite me astronomically. Part of that's because of the amount of technology that's in them. We will talk through that in this video and we'll talk about numbers with these clubs. But also that Ping have stuck to the roots with these. These look so traditional. They look very much like the old Ping S59 irons, which for me were some of the greatest irons Ping have ever made. But more recently, Ping have started to make irons that just feel that little bit better, that just give you that extra little bit of pleasure, if that's why you play golf. One of the big things that I think a lot of people will want with these Blueprint S irons is that amount of forgiveness, also with a little bit of workability and versatility. One of the really interesting things for me is I want to give these irons their own review. I want to give them their own separate video because I feel like that's what they deserve, but they also have exactly the same specs. They have the same lie angles, they have the same loft, obviously the same shaft length. So they should go together perfectly as a fitted set. Now, I think this could well be one of the things that a lot of people do talk about moving forward with these clubs. Would you go four iron, five iron, six iron in the S, and then maybe the lower ones in the T's, or do you feel like you could just go all S or all T's? I know somebody who's ordered a full set of the Blueprint T's. It's Superintendent John. John, I can't wait to play with you with them and see how you get on with them. He claims that they actually go a very long way. So these clubs both look like players clubs. They both have a mega thin top line. They both have a nice short blade length, but realistically there is a little bit of tech there to help you. And that's where Ping, I think, have potentially come into their own with these golf clubs, especially with the S irons, because like I said, there's a little bit of help there. You can see there's a really nice perimeter weight in and they still look really really nice we'll talk about that tungsten weight in the toe and in the heel moving forwards but there's a lot of terminology online about these about how these are supposed to help you not only play better golf but enjoy golf with better feel so i can't wait to put that to the test and see if these are basically going to be the perfect irons i've always personally felt ping irons felt a little bit firm they used to be all kind of cast irons now we do have forged offerings from ping and if that four iron off the first tee is anything to go by um very much enjoyed it and it performed very nicely as well numbers wise i've heard these are very strong or very good not strong but good speaking of strong you can get them in the standard loft the stronger loft power spec or in the retro spec retro spec would be cool wouldn't it just rain it back a little bit 7 iron going a nice 155 to 160 and the spin rate would be pretty optimised if you struggle with low spin irons. And you see this for me is where ping irons need to come into their own. We've got, in fact I'll tell you how far we've got, 111 yards playing 105 yards and for me this could at times be a sand wedge, it could even be a lob wedge or even a gap wedge but for me I love the idea of playing a knockdown pitching wedge at around 100 yards and sometimes you might well struggle to do that with certain irons whereas with these bad boys I think we're going to be okay. Really really do enjoy the look of that bottom line, I really enjoy the blade length, I really enjoy the blade shape actually, it's a really nice rounded shape moving from the four iron all the way down to the pitching wedge. The pitching wedge looks a lot easier to get on with, that's going to be because it has more loft on it clearly and as you can see we do feature tungsten weight in in the toe and the heel that's designed to increase moi to help you get a little bit more forgiveness across the face so even an iron that looks this good is still designed to help you don't you hate it when you let someone play through and they don't even say thank you or wave or anything i find that very rude anyway right i've chucked a couple of balls down it's actually a tight flag a difficult shot for the distance just over 100 what i really like is that white line in the bottom groove that's nothing new but that is designed actually to help ping with the lie angles in the factory that goes into the machine and that can help them precisely get the lie angle a little bit better for you guys but it really does help just square that club face up nicely to the point in front that i'm picking here come on how close can we get with three shots first of all that felt spectacular that's got to be all over it 
Right, it's a very good start. Loads of spin on that actually as well. Very, very nice feel on that club. And I'm gonna take that all day. That's probably well within tour average. That's looking at about seven or eight feet away. And the more time I spend looking down at this club, the better it actually looks. That one could be even closer. Is it a touch long or is it very good? It's very good. That's two out of three. I'd say ain't bad, as a wise man once said, but two out of three, very good. Can we hit a good third one? I've left that one open a little bit. That one's going to blaze. Go on. Ah, we've cut off a little bit more than we could chew with the final one, but I can't blame the irons for that. Two pretty good shots out of the three there and turf interaction, really, really nice. These irons are designed to help you get, get an enhanced turf interaction from all terrains. They're Ping's words exactly, so you can get a nice strike out of the rough and the fairway, which I quite like. And I'm gonna admit something here, because I think traditional Ping fans may not be as happy with these clubs as some clubs of old. I think they maybe might feel a little bit too soft. I think a lot of the golf market do want nice forged soft feeling irons, but I wonder if the die-hard ping fan doesn't really want that. I wonder if they want the iron that feels a little bit firmer, that comes off a little bit duller. Just an observation, and obviously a very subjective observation, because I actually really like them. I like a nice soft feeling iron. I think that's why ping have done it, to bring it more in line with your Mizunos, your Titleists, and even your tailor-made irons now, which feel quite good if you get the MBs or the CBs. So whilst we are talking pitching wedge, let's have a look at these clubs from around the greens, because I know a lot of golfers do like playing the low bump and run. I think these are gonna be pretty much the perfect times for those. These are fairly traditionally lofted. Obviously, if you go for the traditional loft, they're very traditionally lofted, but they're not power irons. They are designed to help you potentially just play good, consistent golf. And I really like how that leading edge sits on the fairway, especially a tight fairway like this one, just to help you get that little bit of a nice strike. You can see I've got a really nice little turf interaction there, playing a downhill chip. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of check on those. And that's feeling really, really nice. I'm not launching these in the air. I'm just letting them kind of project forward from this really nice looking pitching wedge face. That one could go in. Go on, break that way. Go on then. Oh. And I'm gonna throw in a little bit of what could be classed as a controversial opinion in this video, because I honestly think these are potentially the better looking of the two irons. Yes, the blades look nice, the T-irons look very, very, well, to me they look scary, but they do look very, very simple and plain and futuristic, you could say. But I think these actually look like the perfect iron. They've got that cavity back, they've got a little bit of tech in there, and they've also got the lovely, good, stunning looks. So I don't feel like down at the ball, I'd want to look down at anything smaller than this four iron. I think it actually looks very nice with a tiny bit of offset. And the four iron for me, I want it to be nice and forgiving, but also nice and versatile. That was a terrible toey strike actually. And I could feel that it was toey. I've got the feedback on there, but it still looks like it's gone a decent distance. I don't think I'm gonna have too far into this hole, which is what you want when you are potentially playing safe with a four iron. That was still a nice high ball flight. Let's see if we can now play a ball down then we'll try and play a nice big draw around the corner and see just how versatile this four iron really is. This is available in a three iron as well, for anyone that's interested. Now, you just don't see many three irons anymore, do you? Right, low one. Ball back in the stance. Bit of a stinger. <laughs> yes! And that fell miles better. That was buttery soft. Again, it was maybe a bit toey actually, looking at where the ball, if you look at the turf interaction, I'd say that's come out the toe again. So forgiveness on this club, ooh, I'll give that a clean. So forgiveness on this club is apparent because they look like they've gone a very similar distance as well. So let's try and play a nice high draw around this corner and see if we can shape shots as well with the new Ping Blueprint S irons. Oh, that was an absolute knuckleball. That's one of the best feeling golf shots I've hit in a very, very long time. And for me to say that coming from a ping iron, I've always thought ping irons, yes, you get performance. Yes, they're very, very good. They're always going to be some of the best, but you do sacrifice feel. I don't think you're doing that anymore with these. I'd put these up there maybe with the PXG 0317 range, a range that's very, very good in feel, very, very good performing. And to be honest, although they are very expensive, these are going to set you back 1,400, maybe 1,500 pounds. There's not going to be a lot of people at the moment that are going to want to part with that amount of money for a set of irons. But if you did, 
would these be the ones? Guys, get in the comments below and let me know. Now, looking at where those four irons finish, you can see neck and neck are the two ones that I got, well, a little bit necky and a little bit heely. And then the third one, the hit, which was the absolute knuckleball, is all the way over the brow of that hill. So you can obviously pick up distance if you do get the right shot shape and the right trajectory. But to be honest, just a better strike, which you're going to get from all golf clubs, even the most forgiving ones. And what's interesting about these Blueprint S irons is the amount of forgiveness you can get. That was a really skinny eight iron there. It's still got 150 yards. It was spinning a little bit low, but you do get that little bit of forgiveness, which I don't think you're going to get the T irons having hit them already. And you still get a nice element of feel when you do clip it well as well. That felt really, really nice. And that's obviously gone a little bit further at 155 carry. That's the shot that you want to hit with these, just a nice high ball flight. Again, that's going to be around a 155 carry, 153. So the levels of consistency you can get when you do hit these well is very, very good. It's very solid. It's what you would expect from, to be honest, a set of 1,500-pound irons. And moving up into the six iron now, I really think that these long irons have a really, really nice look about them, have a nice blade length, they have a nice top line. They almost look a little bit, well, I say user-friendly. For, for the style of iron that these are, I still think that you're going to get away with a little bit. That was a Healy strike with the six. What's that going to travel in the air? That's a 170 carry with a six iron out of the heel. Spinning at 4,000 is a quite low spin when I do miss hit these. What about when we get a nice good one out here? Straight away, that was a much better strike, a much higher ball flight. Amazing the difference in the ball flight. That one's gone a lot further. That's gone 178 yard carry. So an eight yard window front to back from a miss hit to a good strike. And that one's spinning at 5-1. So a much better spin rate there with a good hit. What if we just get this ball turning over nicely in the air? Like that, that should. You can get, and again, the group in here that you can see is quite good, 174. So even when I'm mixing miss hits in here, I've got a nice kind of window there that we are starting to see. Very, very nice feel on these, very nice. So let's take a look at the mid irons and we've got the eight iron here. Now the eight iron is a funny club because it might well be the lowest club before you go into the blades if you decide to go split set. I always think with an eight iron, it's around a 155 club for me. So I want it to go 155. The nine iron would be maybe a 140, 145 club. Do you want forgiveness throughout the bag or do you just want something that maybe looks a little bit sleeker down in the nine and the wedge? Maybe even the eight, although these look sleek enough for me. So I'd probably just go full set of these. This eight iron looks, this is like the perfect looking eight iron. It really does just look great. That's come out a little bit low and left. It wasn't the best strike. Has it gone the distance? No, that's short. That wasn't a very good strike. Certainly they're not the most forgiving irons you're ever going to have. But then I think people will be aware of that. Better. Still left, but better. And that is up on the green nicely. Cutting across that a little bit too much realistically. There we go. Put the right swing on them and they're going to be great. I think you might be left that's on the green nicely. You might be left with a little bit of egg on your face if you're not having your best day with these clubs, but there are certainly way more clubs in Ping's range if these are a little bit maybe too small for you. 